My name is Cornel Russi. I'm the founder of Fuela. We are developing green ammonia plants. Fuela is uh, leading the way towards the transition into carbon-free fuels, and we do it by producing green ammonia in large quantities. Today, about 70% of ammonia production goes into fertilizer products, which is responsible for feeding around 50% of the global population. What is very interesting for the future is that you can use green ammonia as a substitute for fuel, which is a very promising fuel for, for long distance shipping because it has a high energy density. So you can travel long distances without using too much volume of your boat for, for, for the storage of the fuel. Together with the industrial park, we have established a company called Shipavika Green Ammonia. My name is Lars Hellanscher and I'm the CEO of the industrial park here in Shipavika, Norway. Our business was founded 10 years ago and our vision was to make the best green hub for the marine oceans in Norway, supplying services for the offshore industry and now we are ready to start actually the building. You can see here in the background that we are now leveling out the site. The next summer we will start really the foundation and the building of the, the first factory for green ammonia in Europe. The green ammonia we produce has no CO2 footprint, but ammonia is produced today already. Today it's produced based on either coal or natural gas, and the global average footprint of ammonia production today is 2.4 tons of CO2 into the atmosphere for one ton of ammonia produced. So it's a very, very greenhouse gas intensive process that we can cut to zero with our technology. The first step, we take water, we split it up by, by means of electrolysis into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen we use in our process, we add nitrogen, which we uh, receive from, from filtering the air. It's 78% of air is nitrogen. So it's an abundant resource. Then in the third step, we go into the Haber Bosch process. We fusion together the hydrogen and the nitrogen to NH3, which is ammonia. And the whole plant is driven by renewable power from offshore wind or from onshore wind or hydropower and we have no carbon emissions in the entire process. The green ammonia that will be produced here is about 100,000 tonne a year. That allows significant reductions of CO2 emission for ship owners. I think they've counted it to about 250,000 tonnes of CO2 reduction per year. We have a three kilometre long coastline and we take out the rock from the coastline here and supply it to Van North. My name is Jeff Houting. Offshore construction manager working for the company Van Oort. As an international marine contractor, Van Oort is leading the way towards renewable energy by constructing offshore wind farms to stabilize the seafloor but also prevent them from erosion. Rock installation is therefore required. These rocks are originated from Norway, typically the Skipavika Quarry, which you see over here. We see this as our home base, where we take about 1 million tons of rock each year for the last 10 years. And Van Oort has a state of the art fleet SRI vessels subsea rock installation vessels like the Bravis, which can install the rocks efficiently and accurate onto the seabed. Instead of like a local quarry support that you blast down the mountain, we take care of the rock and the Van Oort uh, helps us delivering it to the offshore uh, projects. It's a very nice symbiosis. Um, everybody takes their specialty into that project and make it a success together. In addition to the green ammonia production, we have the hot water and the, the oxygen that we can then send over to Viking Aqua. Hi, my name is Borgil Hillestad. I work as a fish welfare director in Viking Aqua. My job here is to ensure the animal welfare and fish welfare essentially in, in this uh, facility. The Viking Aqua is a large project here in Gulli municipality. We are going to build a large facility where we will produce 33,000 tons of Atlantic salmon on land. When you have a production on land, you have full control of all the parameters. You can control the light, the temperature, the purity of the water. You can clean the intake water and then you can also clean the outlet water which is something that we are, of course, doing in this facility. In a uh, open net pen production, you don't really have control because everything is coming from the fjord, essentially. So all the pathogens that are going swimming around in the water, they will also pass through that net pen. This is something that can make the pathogens uh, accumulate and spread further to the wild stocks. We also recycle the water. 
So more than 99% of the water is actually recycled and reused, which means that we are saving a really important source. We want a next generation design of uh, our facility where we are fish centric and we are sustainable at the same time using high technology and make sure that this production will also be profitable. In the green ammonia production, and there is some spilled products, namely oxygen and heat. Both are very valuable for Viking Aqua as input in their production of the fish. Um, the oxygen is used to enrich the water for the fishes and the spill heat is used to dry about 20,000 tons of sludge daily. The dried sludge can be used as a natural fertilizer or as feedstock for biogas production. Besides stabilizing the seafloor and protecting the foundations, it also creates with the rock a natural habitat for new marine life, but also natural nurseries for marine life to grow on. Because we work with nature-inclusive designs, but also introducing species like oysters to the rock worms. We are creating the best of both worlds, enhancing the transition for new energy and empowering marine life. It's a fantastic way of making things together. It's very important to understand that this green ammonia facility here will also facilitate a lot of other jobs on research for marine propulsion on green ammonia and all the value chains that can build up based on this new green fuel. The green ammonia plant in Shipawika will create about 50 new green jobs for local people and in addition will function as the training center for our future plants. We are a member of UNESCO Biosphere of Northern Hordaland region. We follow their principles and want to contribute for the sustainable future here in these beautiful fjords. Well, it aims to be the fastest implementer of green ammonia plants globally and thus really scaling up the production and facilitate maritime industries and other heavy users to switch over to green fuel. We want to do this by standardized plants and finding new partners globally, such as here in Shipawika, to really make a fast transition, a safe transition and an affordable transition, which we achieve by re replication of this plant here in other places. And to achieve this, we are open for new corporations globally with other local industrial parks or developers that want to join this venture with us.